We're back with album review. Yeah! Hello! This is our second time reviewing an artist that we've already done, but a different album by them. If you want to see a different oh, Eminem cool. review for whatever reason, go click on this video that's up there somewhere. No. The Mar we did the Marshall Mathers LP. It's down here. But uh, up there? this oh, is Eminem's, I think his ninth album? 2017's Revival. No, oh, God, I fucking hate it. What? What? He said, so, oh, God, I fucking hate it. Oh, I heard him. But uh, some context, uh, <laughs> I mean, Zach picked the album, but he's not here. But uh, I'll say, I remember this album coming out, because I was in high school when this came out. I remember, when it came I remember out. being so hyped for this album to come out. Three because Marvel didn't go viral. <laughs> the classic Eminem line. But uh, one of the singles that was released was the first track, Walk on Water. We'll, I'll get into the tracks in a minute, but I remember hearing that song and thinking, okay... This will be interesting. It's a little different from what I was expecting from Eminem, but... Because I remember, I looked at a bunch of old, like, Facebook comments that me and the <laughs> homies had, and we were all saying, Bro, I'm so hyped for Revival. And then it came out, and, uh... And then you weren't hyped. No. I was no longer no, hyped anymore. Cold. There's so many things I want to say about this album, but I guess we'll just get started, because there's not really much else I can really give on the album. Yeah. Look back around, look at the... Fucking another video. <laughs> no, there's a big gap in between our first video and oh. this one by like 17 oh. years. Can I just take a, no. a a moment to talk and be like, explain how Rick Rubin is involved with this project? And we yeah. just did another Rick Rubin album. We just did a Rick Rubin album last episode. Wait, what, what was that? Toxicity. Toxicity yeah. was also produced by Rick Rubin. It was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow, shit. And this and one. Slayer is. And also Slayer's. A lot of. Rubin. Yeah, a lot of Slayer's early metal oh. stuff was also cool. done by him. <clears throat> I think so. I can't wait to get into the songs, bro. Walk on Water? This. We'll start with Walk on Water. I with really, Green B! With, yeah, with Beyonce. I do like this song. Bro, she uh, this is probably one of my favorites off the album, is the first track. I don't like this one. Because is this a lyric? Hang on, is this a lyric where it says Slim Shady does not give a fuck what you think? Is that a lyric from the song? I think so. Maybe. No, it doesn't Probably. sound right, but... This is a, it's not really a rap, it's kind of, I call it like slam poetry, because it's, there's it's, no it's, beat, it's mostly it's just like piano. R, it's like R&B. Not really, it's not R&B, it's yeah, more like, it's, it's like a rap, but there's no real beat, it's just piano. I think it's done well though, because I've talked about this when we reviewed all of Eminem shit on a podcast years ago, I fucking hate that video, but that's aside the point. I said I love this song, which I still, it's not my favorite song by him, obviously, or even from this era, but I do really like this song. It's about, like, he's, just, it's just, like, an introspective thing about his, uh, his waning popularity and mm -hmm. just, like, how he's still, you know, a human, too. He makes mistakes, and, well, before this album came out, he made a few mistakes, but, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but I think it's fine. Beyonce does a good good for what's it called a good chorus mm -hmm. but other than that it's pretty good nothing else to really say about it the next one's believe i don't, yeah, like, I believe. don't like believe i it's kind of like a follow-up to walk on water but this is i'm just gonna get into it i fucking hate the production on this album it doesn't it's kind of like this is like the rap equivalent of saint anger is what yeah. i'll say that's the way you told it to me i kind of felt the same way for the initial listening party when you me zach yeah. Listen to it when we were playing pool. Yeah. I remember Believe being like all over the fucking place with like yeah. all the sounds and all the samples in the background. Like, what the fuck? Where yeah. was the one with Cheech and Chong? We'll get to that one in a minute. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really don't like this one because it's this entire this track shows that his flow is just completely different from what we know. He's got this super like static co flow that goes all over the fucking place, all over the fucking album. Oh, and it's, wow. I just can't stand yeah. it. And the production is oh. just so bad. Like, I said St. Anger sounded like a demo. This Some of the songs on here don't sound finished. No. I won't even lie. Some songs just don't well, sound... How does he do the finished. choppy flow in this? And it's just a, this it's... is like the one that broke that sound out, which is kind of a blueprint of how he sounds today. So if you, want, if you don't the, like modern Eminem... Who the fuck is Fresher? He's the only other rap feature on this album. Yeah. It's Fresher. And he's on the next song, which is Chloroseptic. I don't like this song I don't either. Like it either. <laughs> this song is not that good. Mm -mm, it's not good either. I will say the remix with two chains, not bad. Oh shit! There's one with two chains. Yeah, Damn, I'd say that's the old school. There's remixes of some oh. of these songs are better than the originals, yeah. because, mostly because the production's been prettied up a little bit. But 
I really don't like this one. No, so, go oh, hang on. Twenty seventeen. Untouchable so. is probably Untouchable. One of the worst fucking song. Oh I God. fucking hate Untouchable. It's bad. It's Dude, not, it sounds really like bad. Upchurch a little bit. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's not I even because like the subject material. I know it's the whole Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah. But... Now that you mention it, I remember there's lyrics that are like white man and black man. Black boy, black boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. fucking black boy. I fucking hate this song. And this is the song that ruins a perfectly good Cheech and Chong song. My mama took a to me to the tummy hot blue. I that I can't believe this song. album is filled with a bunch of songs that just get completely butchered. Yeah. It's the next one's actually not bad. Tragedy. Though. River. I, do, I, I like, hate River, bro. I, it, I like it, <laughs> it's all right, but it's, it's trying it's, so it's, hard. It's bro. not one of Eminem's best. It's got Ed Sheeran in it. I really. I'm don't. shocked that they did a fucking collab. I don't like so this song, bro. Well, here's the thing. Was bro, it? not too long ago, this song like came back again. Yeah, was, like, because this big. was like the one big. This is the most popular track off the album because it was played on the radio everywhere because of Ed Sheeran. Yeah, but I really don't like this I, track. I like it. Any gay? It's, I think no. it's the only good song oh, on this album, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it's one of the, guy. I guess one of the better ones, but I, I really don't like this one at all. What's next? Oh, uh, the Remind Me intro, that, there's not much to that, it's just like... Remind me, I hate this remind song. Remind me, I fucking hate this song. This is I one of the take, worst songs I love rock and roll and just piss it's on it. Bad. Yep. Dude, this like, destroys a perfect Joan Jett song. It, like, they snip it, some of them, and it's fucking, it's so weird, because the flow to it is fucking wrong. Like, it Eminem, is. Eminem's such a great rapper, this did not do good for his career. No. Oh, God, not at all. But, yeah, remind me, I really, that's one of the worst songs, just because it completely ruins a Joan Jett song. The a flow is bad. fucking song. Yeah. Revival uh, interlude? Ah, uh, the interlude, okay. There's not much to this one either, it's just like a girl singing and it's like a transition. This is, I guess, the title track, if you'd want to call it that. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's alright, I guess. Yeah. It's like about 55 seconds or so. Oh, uh, this bleeds into Revival? What? Well, no, uh, Revival, it bleeds into the next song. Uh, like like, like, like home, home featuring Alicia Keys. Jeez. This is the Donald Trump diss track of the album. Uh, what the fuck, dude? This, this? this song is pretty much a Donald Trump diss track. Yeah. I don't like I it. Don't, I hated this song back then. I still don't like it because yeah. it's trying too hard to be like a uniting track. Let's all unite against Trump. Let's all unite against the bad forces, the bad conservative people. But it's trying too hard to be preachy. Yeah. It's just, it's trying to sound like this super epic thing. But that's not what Eminem is. Mm -hmm. He's not the, oh, let's all unite against this evil. He's the, I am the evil. Yeah. So it he's, just, he's so many. It's just not, it, it, that song is, like, not him. Yeah. It's like, it's not his style. That's it's the not... worst part about this album, too, is one of the worst things. It's so out of touch. Yeah. Like, especially oh, going back oh. to Untouchable real quick. I know it's a race thing, but if you're a white guy rapping about the black struggles, it kind of seems very out of touch. Like... It's, it's just, not really, you're not really connected to it because it's not your culture, it's not your people. I mean, yeah, I understand he came from Detroit and went through some hard shit, of course, but you're like never going to fully yeah, know that experience. Yeah, you're understand. a white guy that just came the up out of nowhere. Struggle. Yeah. Oh, wait, that would help you put it over a country beat, too. Yeah. Yeah. And then next, uh, Bad Husband, Bad Husband featuring X Ambassadors. Oh, the God. Fuck is X I fucking hate this song, too. I don't know what I hate more, the chorus or the the chorus handled by X Ambassadors or just the Who's whole concept. X Ambassadors? Of the song. No idea. I don't really know them outside of this song, but it's such a weird song to me yeah. because it's like, how could I be such a good dad but a horrible husband? Oh, uh, cause Skyler was, or not Skyler, fucking Kim. Kim was fucked. Yeah, of course, but still. But like, still. This is the song I like to describe it as weird flex, but okay. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> that is how I describe this song. I can see that, yeah. I can see it being that way. Yeah. And next, Tragic Endings featuring Skylar Grey. This song Ooh. literally sounds like a demo. Yeah. Like, this is the most fucking worst produced song of the entire Isn't album. she, uh... Isn't she the always the female artist yes. that pops up? She's that one artist that Eminem has on every one of his newer albums. What's his fucking heart on? I don't know. Oh, I don't think she's that she great. Hot. She's okay, but like, I really don't like yeah, this song. Unless he's fucking banger. No, no. She's scary looking. Come on. Yeah. 
And then we got yeah, Nowhere. F- oh, wait, Framed is Framed. next. Framed is one of my favorite tracks. I'll say yeah, that. It's definitely one of the better ones on here. Because it sounds like a relapse track if you ever listen to Eminem. Wait, here's, 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 what got, right. here's what I got as a reference to uh, that. I'm reading an article about some of these songs. 12 ew. Framed. For Framed, Eminem reaches back to his she early tracks. Early tracks like 97 Body and Clyde and both sound. Relying on the simplest of beats, Where's two guitar licks, hair? and an unchanging drum loop with violent content. Yeah, this is very reminiscent. If you guys ever listen to Eminem's Relapse album, which mm-hmm. very controversial what, album. What, 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 fun fact, what's all? just real quick, since he brought Frame. up Kim and, or uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde is a prequel to the song Kim. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we'll talk about that uh, yeah, when we get to some shady LP yep. one day. Mm-hmm. But Framed, I do like Framed because it calls back to a lot of old Slim Shady. I yeah. will say, I do not like the chorus. I no. was framed. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh like, it's God. so bad. I, yeah. I hate the chorus it's on this so song. Bad. But I do like this song. Otherwise, from yeah, the chorus, the I chorus think is it's definitely one of the best tracks. Oh yeah. So Kalani is the next pro feature. On Nowhere this. fast. Yeah. I don't yeah. like this one this either. Do I? It's just not good. I hate to say that I just keep saying I don't like this track, but, like most but that's really how this like, album feels. Just it's just good. a fucking mess, dude. A catastrophe. Yeah, the, the it's person. literally just a garbage fire. Yeah. And then next is Heat. I didn't like Heat. Oh, it's what's good. Heat has yeah, another sample. Wait, what? 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 I confused myself. Yeah. But uh, I don't like Heat either. It has another sample. This is like, I forget what song it samples, but I don't like Heat Not either. Not why. Uh, it's another fucking offended dis- is another one that's next fucked. is offended offended is okay no, yeah, it's, 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 this kind of goes back to that old Eminem in a way but I kind of am upset that it's not as offensive as he's trying to make it pass as if that sounds weird to anyone else but that's just how I felt but I think it's weird when he does the whole they're gonna eat my worms thing yeah like that's kind of classic Eminem but it's just kind of weird yeah I'd say this is like one of the most true to his roots songs outside of like Framed, I guess. Need Me is the next one with Pink. Need I, me? I, I hate Pink. I don't know why. I just I don't like, like Pink, her. but here's the like thing Pink. with this song. This song does not she feel like an Eminem song. Like, yeah. like the first half of the song is Pink, and Eminem's not even in it. This feels like an F Pink song featuring Eminem. Yeah. I don't like this one either. I'm just. Oh my god. The next one uh, is another one where you just fucking In Your it. Head. Yeah. I fucking hate In I Your Head. Like you ruined an amazing Cranberry song. One of their best songs they ever oh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, zombie. Yeah, they ruined a perfectly good bad, uh, bad one. Song. God <laughs> damn it, Jake. You fucking playing it in my head. They ruined a perfectly good Cranberry song, though. And I like to say. <laughs> I like I like to say this is a popular theory I have is that this is the song that killed their lead singer because a month later after this cover or this uh, sample would come out she passed away mm-hmm. like a month later yeah damn she did yeah. yes huh. so I like to say that this is the song that killed her shopping samples from fucking Ghostface Killer yeah he's, what the fuck there's a lot of samples in this album but most of them just don't work they do not work. yeah but it's yeah it's saying fucking castle it. i don't like dolores you don't like castles no i like castle i like castle i'll say the last two tracks i actually do really yeah, like. castle castle is decent i just don't like it like castle and a rose they play into each other but it's pretty much castles leading up to his drug overdose and when it happens and then a rose is him like changing history and making that he regrets everything well, he's done. Yeah. And I just, I think it's a cool It just track. doesn't sound like Eminem. It kind of does. These give know. off like, so, again, if you've listened to, uh, what's it called? Relapse. These give off like Deja Vu vibes. Yeah. If anyone's heard that song. A Rose opens up with a loop of The Rose, the title song from uh, Bette Miller's mm-hmm. 1979 album and film of the same name. So that's a sample immediately. And then yeah. It's a ref- there's references to um, the twenty 20- oh his overdose in 07. Yeah, yeah that's what this in- the entire last two tracks are about. It leads up to his overdose, and then when a rose comes on the closing track, it's pretty much just him rewriting that story and changing his life and getting rid of all the drugs in him. And the song ends how I perfectly described the album. A mm-hmm. toilet. Flushing. It ends with him dumping his drugs in the toilet and flushing them. Yep. Just so like how a, this album a was toilet really flush is the perfect way they could have ended this album, and I'm sure it wasn't intentional. Yes. 
So, revival. Yeah, revival. I'm fucking real. You, you want to go first on your yeah. final thoughts, Dylan? So, I'm gonna be honest. This album is a dumpster fire. There's a few. There's a few decent to good songs in there. Yeah. But most of the album is garbage, and it's, it's just not good. Yeah. I hate to beat a dead horse because everyone says everyone agrees that this album yeah. is shit for the most part. I just, but I haven't listened to this album honestly since like two thousand. Came out. Yeah, like, since there. like for me, I re-listened to it in like twenty nineteen, like early twenty nineteen. I haven't listened to it since then. And uh, when coming back to this, I thought maybe it's okay. Maybe it just no. it was just bad for <laughs> no. the time. But no, it still has not aged well. The production is the worst part. It's I'll still stand yeah, by that. The production. So many bad. awful cuts. So many like terrible flows. It's bad. These big names can't even help Eminem carry. Yeah, that's the other problem. Eminem should usually carries everything. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's not good. But here's the other problem. There's only one other rap feature, and that's Fresher. Yeah. No other rappers are even in this album. Which is crazy. Which. That's just so far removed from what Eminem even is. I just yeah. can't believe it. It still shocks me how bad this album is. Big final thoughts, Jake? It's not good. <laughs> Luke, final thoughts? So, you went on a whole rant. I don't know what the hell's to add. Ray and Rick Rubin. What have you done? Yeah, two of the most famous producers of their respective genres. This is one of their most infamous albums now. Probably, yeah. And it's attached with an artist who's been notorious for saying some whack shit on very some? Yeah. track. The song, yeah. But, like, <clears throat> M, I guess, I don't know if he was in a bad mindset or if, like, he just didn't know what to fucking do if he was on his own accord. Like, mm -hmm. But with two big names producing an album with a big name artist that they are attached with and they know each other, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. I can agree. This is the same anger of rap. Yeah. 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 Because it's one of the most popular artists from their respective genres. A big ass release that after multiple years of waiting for another release, because before this was 2013's Marshall Mathers 2. Right. Which, that regardless probably... of how you feel about that album, it's still an okay that album. Yeah. Right? Yes. That had a lot of the big hits of the 2010s. But <clears throat> you really went. The only good thing to come out of Call of Duty Ghost at that time. I Yo, made, whoa, yeah, I made you're that right. joke years ago. <laughs> So, since Zach picked the album, he's not here, but I'll say he gave it a three. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Well, Luke, what do you give it? Two. Two? Okay. I don't like any of the samples. They fucking chopped up. <laughs> fucking Cheech and Chong, how do you fuck that up? That flow could have been great. Yeah. Because that song from the movie mm -hmm. is insanely cool to play. That yeah. You could have made something with that instead of just... My mama took it to me and then fucking cut a rap over it. Like, oh, bro, fuck you. That's what most of the fucking cuts are on here, like Sample Wood. Yeah. They're very lazily done, which he's done well before with rock songs. Like, Sing for the Moment, Samples Aerosmith. Like, yeah. Say words, words, and it works. Berserk samples The Strokes, or The Stroke Song, you know. That song's great, but I don't there's, know. There's, a, I don't there's know. one that samples, I forget which one it is, but it also samples uh, Beastie Boys, I think. Doesn't it? Berserk. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that samples Beastie Boys, but uh, yeah, yeah, but that's yeah, yeah. that's just my take. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, Jake, what do you give it? Uh, two. Two? Okay. Why is it a two? Not good. <laughs> God damn it! Let's leave it. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I, I, like, I real, again, I don't know what else to say. We took your thunder. You beat it. And AJ beat, AJ home beat the hour. fuck yeah. out of this. Listen, he took, I, he took the Louisville. I was just so hyped for this. Like, you don't understand the hype I had this for this album. Bill you guy was there too, bro. Yeah. Oh, no, I know. Shit, I'm just, it for my final shit, piece, bro. yeah. But, uh, I'm also giving it a two. Like, it's not a terrible, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard, because there's some redeemable songs. I like Walk yeah. on Water. I like the last two tracks. Frame's good, aside from the, the chorus. Yeah. But this is just a fucking mess, dude. Mm -hmm. It's, I can't believe one of the most influential rappers of all time can stoop to just this that. level of unawareness of his own accord. Just, uh It's shite. I've already said a bunch, so I'm just gonna let Dylan do it. What do you give the album? I give it a three. Okay. Fair. Give it a three. There's a few good songs on there, but everything else is shit. Yeah. And I like Slim, dude. I so do I. Like, um, one of I, my favorite rappers. Yeah. yeah. This album is just terrible. 
Mm-hmm. Most of his shit's flown under my radar because I've only heard most of the major hits. I've never heard like the B sides yeah. until we did what was it? Fucking Marshall Mathers. Yeah, that was fun. That was I like that album. Mm-hmm. This is just Garbo. Yeah. So this is so, his worst album. Oh, for sure, his worst. This is his worst. What do you one. got for us this week, boy? So I got a question. I'm okay. between two albums. Have we done 1984? No, we have Alright, well done. then we're doing 1984. Oh, you fucking hate it! Let's go, dude! Yeah! <laughs> this album's fantastic. I can't hear it. I can't hear what's coming up. Oh, man, I love that. That was fucking gay. Yeah, I mean, now. Is that the wrong album? That, that's the first album. Gotcha. Either yeah. way, it's still 